All right, and we are back for another Tiny Epic Dungeons. This time we're going to go through the Stories expansion, as along with the Potion and Perils and then the base game. So, the Stories actually gives you three levels of dungeon that you have to go through. So it's a little bit more of a camp really short campaign. So we're going to go through that campaign here. We'll do separate videos for each dungeon level. But, so this first dungeon level, we set it up just slightly different. First, the deck that we got, we, the first nine cards, once again, just normal. Then, the next cards, usually we have one minion per hero. However, we only have one minion altogether, and there are zero bosses. So this is just one minion, no bosses. However, we do have two stories that we have to accomplish before we could go down to the next level. Also, because there's no boss, there's no dungeon layer card door to find. What we are looking for is for the stairs, which once again are in the last four, just like where the dungeon door usually is, but now it's the dungeon stairs to go deeper into the dungeon. So, first off, we'll start off with what stories we have to complete here. So we got the Curse of the Hobgoblin, and these were randomly drawn here. The town has a legend of a goblin no mortal can kill. Many have tried, they say, but none have returned. However, you know a secret. It is not just one goblin, but instead it is a curse passed from goblin to goblin. So set up, place the objective token next to the third goblin space on the track. So we'll place this A right there on the third dungeon track there. Then we'll flip over. So objective. The goblin with the objective token represents the hobgoblin. Each time you kill the hobgoblin, move the token down to the next lower numbered goblin. This is the new Hobgoblin. Note that it is not in the dungeon until a card fills its slot on the torch mat. And then the Hobgoblin strength has an increase of plus two defense and can only be killed by melee or missile attacks, meaning they can't, we can't use our spells or anything to kill them. And then we successful when we kill the Hobgoblin when the objective token is at the one goblin. And then as we succeed, we get to increase the torch track by three. So meaning this is gonna be on this level three and we won't get a hobgoblin until we get our third goblin. So we kind of have to let the goblins stack up. So this can go down. Once I kill it, it'll go down to this one. So then when we spawn a goblin there, it'll go down. And then when we spawn a goblin there, it'll go down. So that is story number one, the curse of the hobgoblin. The second one is purify the aquifer. The town's aquifer is tainted by poison, and the town healer says its, its source is in the dungeon. She says a magic stone hidden in the dungeon can purify the toxic aquifer, aquifer. So in deck B, we put this map tile. So it's after the first nine was deck B. We'll f start to find it. It was in the top half of that deck B. Find the stone in one of the corners of the grid and carry it to the well room card to deposit it in. So the well room cannot be used until the well is purified. When any hero enters one of the four corners of the grid, as a free action you may equip the objective token into one of the hero's hand slots. Taking up that slot, this represents the stone. When the stone enters the well, immediately discard it. The token may be dropped or freely given to another hero in the same room. Success, drop the stone in the well. The well's room ability can now be used and then we increase the torch track by three. So I guess that's just there to be there. I'm actually gonna put it on the card so it's not in the way. And uh, as you can see, when we get the well, when after we drop it off, we can, sp as a free action, we can move the torch track down one to gain max health. So that might be actually quite useful there. All right, now for our heroes. Our first hero, we have Zazili. He's got four movement, four defense, one for strength, three for agility, and two for intelligence. So he's more of a range character. He's a human monk. And then our basics, his bow staff has a negative one, but he does roll his agilities for it. And he's got inner focus. As a free action, he could spend six focus, which is all of his focus, but he gets an extra main action. That could be handy. And then he, as a magic attack, he could roll his two intelligence dice to get four. If he gets it, he gets to kill a goblin on his space and gain plus two focus to do that. Like, so instead of spending focus, he actually gains focus to kill a goblin 
on his spot. That is just a goblin, not like minions or anything else. It's just a goblin. But he could get to kill a goblin and get to focus for doing so. So not too bad. Our next one we have is Sir Lannan. He's got three movement and five defense. He's got three for strength, one for agility, and two for intelligence. His basics, he's got a hammer, which is a basic three red die. He's got healing hands, and as a free action, he could spend two focus for one hero within range of one, and it could be even around a corner, to plus two health. And then he as well can spend do a magic to roll his intelligence to get a four, and if he gets it, he could spend two focus to get plus two to his following roll. Also not too bad. That actually will come in handy for the Hobgoblin, that's for sure. And just to verify, that means we cannot use this on the Hobgoblin. We can't just kill it straight off. We have to attack it. And so here we got the minis once again. These are like my first paint job, so excuse it. <laughs> but we've got Sir Lannan and we got Zazili. All right, so we're going to go ahead and start off. We're going to have Zazili go first here. And we're going to do what I always do because I think it's a great strategy to get stuff going. Is I'm going to move the torch track down one. And therefore, open up all rooms adjacent. We have just a room that we could get some max health for three focus. We've got a goblin room here. We've got another goblin room here. And we've got a trap. Oh no, not a trap room. But oh, oh, we could search the room. And with it, all enemies within range three, we could spend two focus to do one damage. That actually might come in handy for some of these goblins here. But so we do spawn two goblins. First one is Stabby Goblin here. So we'll take this and spawn him right there. And we have the Mighty Goblin. Whew. I'm just glad that he's not the Hobgoblin because that would have made him really hard to kill. But he is not. He's the second one. And we'll take him and put him right there. All right. So let's go ahead and put out these rooms. All right. So just to show, we had four. Then I started here. So I went five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, there's nine. And that means this one could be the one minion. I hope it's not, because that would be a little rough. <laughs> but it could be. And because of the purify, purify the aquifer, I do need to like head towards one direction. So might as well head this direction, because we know that this is going to be chance it. So we'll go this way instead of running the opposite way. And so... Zazili is going to step into this room and he is going to attack the Mighty Goblin. So he's going to do his Tiger Strike, which means he actually only gets two dice because it is his intelligence roll. But then I also have to roll the enemy die. And all I needed was a four. And I got a four right there. I got one I don't need focus and I actually gained focus from doing it. So I kill Mighty Goblin. So I'll come back over here. I kill Mighty Goblin. That means I get three health, which I'm at full health, and I get an equipment. That equipment is Ceremonial Spear. Ooh, get a plus one for my intelligence and plus a, any die. Ooh, so I'm definitely gonna do that because I'll plus one to my for my Tiger Strike, and I get to roll three dice. So I will definitely do that, and it's a minus one. Ooh, but that is strength. So that gets rid of my attack, but I'm probably not going to be doing that too much anyway. So I'm going to get, I will give that to Zazili. So that's the end of his turn. We'll slide this down and we do spawn one goblin on the entrance. And it is a spelly goblin with three movement and five defense. So we'll put that on the entrance there. And it is now Sir Lannan's turn. Since we're already in there. I mean, might as well attack. See, this is where, how, how long do I wait to try to get that third uh, third goblin? But I'm going to attack now because the next one's not going to spawn for a while. So I'm going to go ahead and attack Spelly. All right. So I will attack with my hammer. So I get three dice. And I do need a five or six to kill him. Yeah. 
Oh, barely. Look at that. Four and a two. That will kill him. I didn't use any focus, so that doesn't matter. So I will kill. He gets one loot and five focus, which doesn't do anything. But his loot is the Eyes of the Viper. For three focus, he could open up a room. I mean, might as well use it just in case he does get more Vipers, but not super useful right now. So he dies, and at the end of the turn, the Torch Strike goes down, and they all activate. Stabby, he either moves or attacks, and he can only attack in his room. And no one's in his room, so he will just move one to right there, and that will end the Goblin's turn, and now it is the Zilly's turn. All right, so here comes another crazy thought here. So I'm going to open up all three of these rooms because I want to try to get the Hobgoblin out here. And right now is the best time, I think, because they're not going to activate for another three rounds or three turns. So I'm hoping if we reveal something, we could kill at least two of them before they activate. And I might end up dropping the Ceremonial Spear um, so I could attack two of them, depending on what happens. So I'm hoping at least... Only two of these are goblins. Um, ooh, I could do that as well, actually. Oh, but they have to be on my space. All right, so I went and looked up in the appendix, and that does mean I could kill a goblin anywhere in the dungeon. So this is actually a perfect time to hopefully try to get at least two more goblins. Hopefully. If I only get one goblin, I'm going to be kind of mad. But we'll see what happens. And this could, like, maybe kill me. I don't know. But, so I will move the torch track down one there. Nothing happens, and I'll reveal all of these. Yeah, there's one goblin. Very good, very good, very good. And that was going to be goblin number two. And then, yes, there is the hobgoblin. So this one here is going to be the hobgoblin. And we'll, eh, we'll just leave it on that three so we know it's up there. And, ooh, nice. That's actually not too bad. And I'm actually going to put it this way. So we can gain two rooms right there. All right, so that was perfect. That is exactly what I wanted. So we've got goblin number two is Boomy Goblin. One movement and four defense. And a hobgoblin is Pokey. Oh no, uh, he's the second worst one to get because that means he has six defense. Uh, so six defense and because he's a hobgoblin, that means he has eight defense. That means I need a nine to kill him. And I can't use this because I have to. It has to be a ranged attack. Ah, <sighs> so. And so that's number three. There. So now the question is, do I drop my ceremonial spear and come into here and try to attack him, or because at the end of my turn another goblin is gonna spawn? So this is wondering what I should do. All right. So I laid those cards out, and what. I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this so I'm gonna spend four focus you can see that right there I'm gonna go six down to two focus there and I'm gonna kill this number two guy which is boomy and because I killed him I get a loot which is bedrolls and I will take that and then I will move here and now I'm gonna roll for my tiger strike and because of my ceremonial spirit I do get three dice for this and a plus one to my roll and all I need is a four all right so I will take that six that way I gain all my focus back Boop. perfect and with that I will kill him all right so I kill this goblin which was stabby goblin and I three health or equipment, which I'll definitely gain equipment here. Ooh, Elven Chain, plus one movement and plus one defense. I will take it for now. And now we will spawn another goblin here, which is another stabby goblin. But that will go to the entrance there for number one goblin. And now it is Sir Lannan's turn. All right, so what I'm gonna do is actually, instead of coming down here and killing him, because Sir Lana needs to kill him because Zazili has no chance with that minus one to his roll. So I'm actually going to have Sir Lana kill this goblin to try to get one another loot for Sir Lana to maybe give him a little bit more of a benefit. So I'm going to attack Stabby. All right, so Stabby has four defense, so I need a five 
for this. Oh yeah, there we go. I got five, and I got full everything else. So that five will kill him. That means I do gain one equipment here. Ooh, Vestment of the Scarab. Vestment of the Scarab. I get a plus one to my intelligence. Mm. And then plus one defense when I do a magic attack. Not helpful at all right now. All right, so we killed Stabby there. Did not really go as according to plan because I was really hoping that that would have given me something good. But that's all right. Still mitigating that. And now they will activate. So Pokey's the only one left. However, he will move or attack everyone within one. And he does not have anyone within one. So he'll just move. One, two. Because he does have three movements. So he'll move right into that room. And now it is the Zilly's turn. One thing I didn't point out is here is the well that we're looking for. And we cannot use this. So I'm actually going to put this lock piece on it there. To remind us that it is locked. So we... So we remember we can't do that until we drop the stone off in there. So Zazili, he's just going to start moving because we got to move down to this corner so we can find that stone so we can bring it back up to the well. So I'm going to have Zazili come down and open up one of these rooms here. All right, so he's going to come down to this one. He's going to go one, two, three. Oh, no. <laughs> it is the minion. And the minion that we have is... The Troglodyte! Alright, so he's got 5 defense, plus 2 against melee, plus 3 against range and magic, 1 movement, and 7 health. And he's going to attack, or move and attack everyone within range 1, and do minus 2 health and minus 2 focus. Alright, so we have the Troglodyte here, and we do take 2 damage because we opened up the room with a minion, so we get minus 2 to our health there, due to that. And... I really do not have very good attacks, but I mean, I might as well attack. All right, so this is what I'm going to do here. I'm actually going to ditch the ceremonial spear because you could drop every, anything at any point. So I'm going to do that, put it in the discard pile because I only have, will have two dice for that red and a minus one. Not good for a melee attack. I still have a minus one, but this will at least give me three dice. And so I am going to attack and hopefully not die because I still only have five health because I had to take two damage to do it. And he is a five defense. We need six to do one damage. Ooh, actually that's not too bad because here I could use that six to get one health back. And then that's eight minus one. So that's seven. So that's two damage. So that means he's down to five, but that means he does four Plus two, that means he does six to me. I have four, five defense, actually. So he only does one to me. That's not too bad, actually. Now, here's the question. Do I spend all my focus so I can attack again? It might kill me, but I'm going to do it anyways. I don't know how good it'll do. So I'm going to spend all my focus to get another action. And I will attack. Ooh. Okay, that... Did absolutely nothing for me, actually. Because uh, I don't have any focus to change anything. And a 5 does not hit. I need a, a 6 will hit. And I can't change anything to a 6 to at least hit. So I will do absolutely nothing except for get 4 plus 2. I'll get hurt for 1 again. So that did me absolutely no good. But I wanted to try. All right, so that ends the Zilly's turn of just kind of touching the Troglodyte. However, that ends that round. Nothing happens, so that's good. He's not going to activate for another couple rounds here. All right, so for Sir Lannan's turn, I'm actually going to have him run away from Pokey again because I really feel like I just need to take care of this Troglodyte because if I run away from Pokey, Pokey will just move again but not actually attack. And so uh, I'm going to try that anyway. So I'm going to go one, two, three, and I'm going to attack the troglodyte. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually roll for my divine might. So my intellect is two. So I'll roll two dice to try to get four. Awesome. So five will do it. Six will give me health, which I don't need a health, but I'll spend two. So that will give me plus two to my roll. 
And so now I'm going to attack. And so I've got a plus two and I need a six to do one damage. And he's got five health. Ooh, not the best. Let's see, so that's, that's six, seven, eight. So that does three damage, one, two, three. So I need two more damage. Oh, no way. I'm not gonna be able to do it. Cause this, I'll spend two to move this three to a four. That's six, seven, eight, nine. And that does four damage and I cannot move it up anymore. That means he's got one stinking health left. He'll go down to there and he does four plus two at six. So he does one damage. Not too bad. I'll take that. And actually what I'm going to do, I'm going to take that back. I'm going to do one less damage. I'm only going to hurt him with this. That's six, seven, eight. So that's three damage. So he's got two and I'm going to gain two focus back from that one. That way I could keep a little bit more focus and then hopefully Zazili could finish him off. So that finishes off his turn. Track goes down and we spawn a goblin. That goblin is a mixy goblin with two movement and five defense. And he goes on there with him. And now it is Zazili's turn. And once again, I think he's just gonna attack the troglodyte again and try to hopefully kill him this time. All right, so this is just kind of a Hail Mary because once again, I still don't have any focus. So yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do here, but we'll, we'll, all I need is a seven. I need a seven to kill him. No, I got five, five, three again. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. And I have no focus to change anything. Don't have any pluses. And actually I have a minus one. So that's even less. Luckily, he rolled a three, so that's five and a half, five de defense, so I don't get hurt at all. But once again, his turn is kind of wasted. So that will be that. All right, so before Zilly ends his turn, he's actually gonna run away so he doesn't die. He's gonna go one, two, three. That way the Troglodyte doesn't attack him. Also, Pokey's not gonna attack him. So just Mixie will attack him. That way he's good there. So end of his turn, the first thing he's going to activate is a goblin. So Mixie is going to activate. And Mixie's got two or oh, a range of two. So he's actually already within range. So Mixie's will, he does move still because it's move then attack. So he'll move to the closest one. He'll attack one, two. So he doesn't hit him. However, he'll do two damage to Zazili. So Zazili goes from four down to two. And that's everything he does. Now, Pokey will go. And as you see, Pokey moves or attacks within one. No one is within range one. So he'll move three to the closest hero, which is him, and then not do anything. Now the Troglodyte, he will move, but he won't move because he's already in the room with a hero. And everyone within one, so no one else, but he'll do two damage. So Sir Lana goes from seven to five and two focus so he'll go down to one focus and now it is sir lana's turn and he is going to attack the staying troglodyte so we could get more time so we can finally get on with this game <laughs> i feel like we've been like battling around here for quite a while now <laughs> all right so once again because he took away my focus i don't have any focus to change anything but i am still going to do my divine might there we go i'll use that five so I get one focus back. Now I have a plus two. I have a plus two and I could change one die once. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Now I get almost the perfect roll. <laughs> six, which he only needs a seven. So I have six, seven, eight, and I could gain, ooh. Yep, I'll use that. I'll get all my focus back like that by using that six to kill the troglodyte. Yay! Finally killed him off. And so we get two loot. The first one is, ooh, plate mail of the lion. I will take that. That will give me an extra defense. Not too bad. <gasps> ooh, and the second one is the long bow of the panther, which this will be really good for Zazili. All right, I will definitely do that. 
put that, and I'll have Zazili grab it next time. So the, our torch track goes up six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And it goes down. Nothing happens. And it is Zazili's turn. So the troglodyte is gone. All right. So I'm going to have Zazili just attack the Mixie Goblin there with the Tiger Stripe because he still can't attack the Pokey because he's a Hobgoblin. So he still has too much defense. So we will attack Mixie. So here's actually what I'm going to do. I'm not going to attack him. I'm actually going to move one space right there. Then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to rest. And rest, because I have that, I'll get five health. So I'm at full. I'm actually going to gain eight focus. Now, since Sir Lan is within two, he also gets two health and three focus. So he's going to gain two health. He's already at full focus, though, but he gains two health. And then for free action, I'm going to spend four focus to kill a goblin. So I'm just going to spend four focus straight up. So I go down to two and I will kill Mixie. So killing Mixie, I get an equipment and a potion. So the first thing will be an equipment. I'm going to grab that long bow of the panther for Zazili. So now he doesn't have a, a minus one to his attack anymore. And then we also get a potion and his potion is going to be mind tonic. Which, oh no! So all of them are, or that's actually okay. So all of them are going to activate for that because flipping it over. Which he, Pokey is already within range one. So he will attack one times as many goblin. He's the only goblin. So therefore he just does one damage to Zazili. So Zazili goes from six down to seven. And this gives a plus four and a plus five to an intelligence roll. So I will have Zazili take that. Then the torch track goes down and we spawn another goblin, which is Boomy Goblin. One movement, four defense, and he either moves or attacks within two spaces. So Sir Lannan's turn now. He's going to go one, two, stop there. He's going to spend four focus to kill Boomy. So we will get another equipment here, which is Violet Cape. Ooh, which gives me plus one defense. Oh, not to melee attack, so and plus one. So I'm gonna discard that. I will keep going into here and I will attack Pokey. So I will do my divine might. Ooh, and I get exact oh I get five. Which Which will get it, but I don't get any focus back. So I get a plus two to my roll. And if you remember. Pokey is six, but he's a hobgoblin, so he actually has eight. So I'm gonna roll with that plus two. And we get five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh yeah. Finally kill the Pokey Goblin. We've just been like running away from him this whole time. And we will gain a loot. Ooh, Glove of the Panther. I'll definitely give that to Zazili. And we do get to flip one tile over. And that one tile, I'm gonna pick this one, because I'm hoping it will give us to the corner. No, and it's a trap, and it does not get us to the corner. So that means hopefully this one can get us to the corner, because if not, we're kind of screwed, and we could hopefully maybe try to go to this one, but I don't know if if we'll have enough cards or not. <laughs> but, so that doesn't get us anywhere. Now, he is gone. The Hobgoblin is now on Goblin number two. So this will go down. They all activate, but no one's on the board, so nothing happens, and now it is... So I'm going to have Zazili come down, one, two, three, and oh yeah, we got a goblin, but we do also have a room right there, and that's where the stone is at. So we'll spawn a goblin, and it is Mixy Goblin. Mixy Goblin will go right there, and I do take one damage because I moved into that, so I go from six to five for Zazili, and I will do my Tiger Strike, so I will just have to roll two. For my tiger strike and i'll use this five so i get one focus there i get plus two one two and i kill mixie so i kill mixie here and when we kill mixie we get equipment here first which actually will take the glove of the panther so i get plus one now to my range attacks and we get a potion which is bottle of energy oh nice they all activate yet no one's on the board and we get more movement and another action. So I'm going to put that, give that to Zazili still as well. 
All right, the torch track goes down, nothing, and uh, Sir Lannon's turn. So he is going to come one, two, three, and open up this one, because he can't get quite to that corner yet, so he's going to open up this one here. Ooh, it is a teleportation room and a goblin, so he will take one damage. He'll go from seven to six, and goblin is Shooty Goblin, with two movement and five health. Come right here, and... Uh, Sir Lannon will attack him. So I'm going to use my Divine Might here first. Which that five will do it. Ooh, that will give me three more. One, two, three. I'll use two. So now I have two focus to move and a plus two. And I need a six at least here. There we go. So that five, six, seven will kill him. And I'll get two more focus back. That's what I like to see. And he'll... Gain equipment or focus, which I'll definitely gain equipment. And hook shot. Ooh, I'll actually take that. Plus one. And then also gives me an option for a range, which doesn't help me, but I will take that plus one. I like it. So that ends Sir Lannon's turn. And we'll move the torch track down. And we'll spawn another goblin, which is Stabby Goblin. That's going to go at the entrance there. And now it is Zazili's turn. So Zazili's just going to walk into here, ooh, which is a trap. So we'll roll for that trap. It is a, we do need a six to get it. So we'll roll for that six. Ooh, and we'll have to spend two focus to move this three to a two. And that will be that, but I will get one focus back. And I got that. So now, I will pick up that stone. I'll pick up that. I'll put it in my inner focus slot. So that was only one movement. So then one, two, three, and I have four, but I also have five. So I drop that off. So finally we could use that if we want. And we get to move the torch track up three for finishing that. So torch track goes one, two, three. And I have one more move left, so I'm going to open this up, hopefully to get a goblin, so we can get that hobgoblin out. And it is not a goblin, so I'll just move in there, and I'll have to... Ooh, uh, actually, I could do a roll of five to try to get something out of the discard pile, which I don't really want to do anyways. Yep, with that, I'll end my turn. That means that Stabby will activate. He either moves or attacks within his space, and he will move four. One, two, three, three. And so I'm actually going to have him come to Zazili. And now it is Sir Lannon's turn. What Sir Lannon's going to do is he has, he only has three movement. So what he's going to do, he's actually going to use this teleport room. So he's going to go from four to two focus. He's going to teleport to this room. And now he's going to start making his way down so we could find the stairs here. So we'll flip this one over. Ah, and it's a trap. Not necessarily what I wanted, but let's go ahead and roll for the trap. It is a trap of six. So we'll roll for that. Ooh, and we got one six and three focus. We'll get one, two, three focus back from that. And so we pass that focus or pass that trap. That was one movement. This one can also be the end. So I will walk into here and it's not, <laughs> but... So now, these are the last two. So we know one of these two are the last one. This room's still nothing, so he's going to come down to this one. Uh, it's not, but it's a goblin. I will take that. So we'll get a goblin. And this is the hobgoblin is Boomy. Yes, and he only has four defense. And I still have my attack because I haven't attacked yet this turn. So here's the hobgoblin, and hopefully... We'll be able to take this hobgoblin out here. All right, and this time we do have a plus one to our attack now. But I will still roll for my divine might. Nice, I got four. So that will do that. So I have a plus three to my roll now. And Boomy has a defense of four, but plus two. So I need a seven all together. And four, five, six, seven. Seven will do it. And I'll gain all my focus. Oh, I spent two to do that. Now I gain all my focus back from this two and the four. 
and I'll kill the hobgoblin, which makes Stabby the last hobgoblin, and finally finish the stories. And he, I get a equipment card here. Ooh, soul hammer. I'm actually am gonna switch that out for my hook shot, because then that will give me plus one, and I'll get a focus when I attack. Maybe I'll get this, so I have a plus one for the for the zilly. I don't know. We'll see. So the torch track goes down, and now. Stabby is the hobgoblin, and it's Zazili's turn. So, Zazili is actually going to take one, two, three steps out. And I have a range of four, and I will attack. And something I just noticed, because I got two panthers, I do have a plus one and this plus one. So, I actually have a plus two already for him. So I will keep that, and I will roll my three as I attack Stabby. However, just to clarify again, Stabby does have four defense. He's the Hobgoblin, so he's got plus two. So once again, I need a seven to kill him. Oh, and I get a massively good roll. So that will be five, six, seven, and I will gain all my focus back. Booyah, and that what that does... Is that also gets rid of the curse of the hobgoblin so now I get to move the torch track up three so the torch track goes one two three now we just got to find uh, the stairs down and make our way down which we actually already know that the stairs are right there however I still want more equipment because I mean we've got at least three or four rounds just to run around and kill goblins here so, oh, at the end of his turn, a goblin did spawn, though, from the torch track, which was another Boomy goblin. Boomy goes there, and it is Sir Lannan's turn. So, Sir Lannan cannot get there. So, what does Sir Lannan get? One, two, three. Uh, Sir Lannan really can't do too much with only three movement. So, what he's going to do is he's actually going to come here and unlock this, or un... Pick it so he can gain loot. So he's going to go one, two, and he's going to roll four, five to undo it. And he has strength. So that six will do it. Actually, this four and one will do it and use the six to gain one health back. So Sir Lanny goes six to seven health. And now he will untrap that trap and he will gain a loot. Which is Claw of the Panther. Once again, give him another um, uh, another plus one there and a plus one to a melee. So he'll have melee and range, which will be perfect. So now this goes down. Boomy's going to activate. Boomy attacks within range of two. So he's not going to move and just does straight up two damage to Zazili. Zazili goes from five to three. And now... It is Zazili's turn. So Zazili is just going to go one, two, and roll for his Tiger Strike. So he's going to roll for his Tiger Strike here. He only gets two. Ooh, four. Four will do it. So that will kill Boomy. And he is going to gain that Claw of the Panther to cover that inner focus. So now he has a plus three to his melee and a plus three to his range so that is going to be super beneficial when it comes to the bosses so end of his turn this will go down and now it is sir lannan's turn again so sir lannan is going to come here one two Ooh, and it is a trap and he needs a seven so let's roll for that trap there we need a seven or better Ooh, and we got six and i will spend two focus to make this one a two and uh, gain, ooh, wait. Spend two focus for this two, three to go to a two, and then I'll gain that two focus back. So that will be that seven. And uh, I will go ahead and, oh, nope, I can't go any further. So that was one, two, three. 
and I guess that's all I do. And this will go up one and we'll spawn another goblin, which is another Mixie Goblin. Go right here. And now it is the Zilly's turn. So I'm actually going to do a melee attack because it's actually easy because I have a plus three to my melee attack. So I'm going to do a melee attack and I will use three, four, five, six. And six is exactly what I needed. So I'll gain one focus and one health, which I was actually already all full, full focus, but I'll gain that health. So I'll get, so I'll kill him. Mixie gives me one loot, which is throwing axes of the bear. Awesome. I will give that to Sir Lannon. And a potion because of Mixie. Mixie gives us also a potion, which is a magic elixir. So all heroes get minus three focus. One, two, three. And one, two, three. And I'm going to give that to Sir Lannon because he doesn't have anything yet. So that ends his turn. All of them activate, but there, none of them are spawned. And so now it is Sir Lannon's turn. So Lannon's just going to come one, two. He's going to go one, two, three, open up. Look at that, it's the stairs. He's not going to go down yet. He's actually going to rest this turn. So he gets all of his focus back and all of his health back. And then he'll go down. Might as well go down. So Sir Lana will go first next scenario. So end of his turn. Nothing happens. Zazili is going to go down right here. And not do anything, so he's gonna spawn. So another goblin is gonna spawn, which is a shooty goblin. Right there. And now he is going to attack him with his ranged attack. We need a six to kill shooty. Ooh. And uh, we'll definitely kill him, that's for sure. So we just need a six. We could use that, so we'll gain one more health. Use those to kill him, because I have a plus three. And uh, I will gain one more loot. Smoke pellets of the viper. Not super helpful still, but we'll see. That that will be for sure, Lannon. If anything, Sh Shooty dies, and he is going to move one, two, three, four. He's not going to do anything yet. That's going to go down to the very last. That went down to the very last spot there. Everything activates, but nothing's there. Now Zazili is going to rest because of his bed rolls. He gets all of his health and all of his focus back and then he will descend. And that was the first dungeon level. And it will go Sir Lannon because he went down first and then Zazili because he went down second when we start the next dungeon. So let's see what happens down the next dungeon.